So let's take a look at a few other uh, methods for our RESTful web service. So the next thing that we're going to look at, uh, we have a method here called PUT. Uh, and we can see from our request mapping annotation that this request is going to pass a single parameter, which is the word that we want to uh, add to our dictionary. And we are using the request method of PUT. Now you can see here that we've also uh, added the response status annotation and and uh, specify that we are going to uh, send a status of OK along with our response. Now if you remember we don't have to do this because our default status is going to be OK but just showing that you can do this too uh, just to make it explicitly clear. Now as you see here we have the path variable annotation which is going to map our single um, parameter which is the word uh, that, we're, that we are going to put in the dictionary to the string ID of this method. Now as you also notice here we have the request body uh, annotation. Now this annotation tells Spring uh, to map the request body into this variable called word. And in this case here uh, Spring is going to basically map uh, the JSON or XML that we're going to send back and map it into this bean using either Jaxby or Jackson, uh, depending on the content type that we specify on the request. Uh, so if we could go look at our word object here, you notice that we have a name and a definition. So what's going to happen is in our um, in our request body, we are going to send back the name and definition, and this is going to be mapped to this word bean. So as you can see here, we're just going to call put word on our dictionary deo and add that word to our dictionary. So let's go to our sample client. Um, we're going to change this to put. We are going to add uh, a word hokies and we're going to put in our content member the name of the word and definition. So if we run this we see that we get a, a 202 which is an OK status. Now if we go back to get here, we can we can retrieve this word and make sure that it did add it to the database. So as you can see now, we called get, and we did get uh, in our response a uh, hokey with the definition the best, which is definitely true. So let's go back uh, to our controller here and let's look at another um, method that we have, and this is remove. From the request mapping here, you see that again we take a single uh, parameter on the request, which is the word that we want to delete from the dictionary and we have the request method um, of type delete and again we are defining the status that we want to send back on the response. Um, so we can see from this method that uh, we have the annotation path variable so we are just going to map uh, this word to this uh, string uh, word parameter of our method and so as you can see from the method here all we're going to do is call remove word and uh, remove that word from our dictionary. So let's go back to our sample client here and we are going to change our request method to delete. And let's go ahead and delete the uh, word hokies that we just added to the dictionary. Uh, so if we run this, we see again that we get back an OK status. Now we can go uh, back to the dictionary and query for hokies. Actually, let's just pull back all the words in our dictionary. And now you can see that the word hokey has been removed. Now we are just back to our original words which were set and list. So as you can see, uh, Spring makes it fairly easy to uh, make a RESTful web service. Um, and this is just kind of a simple example, but I hope this gets the point across on, on how to use controllers and, and Spring to uh, build a, a nice web service.